I'm D. Wayne Lucas, and uh, in doing this video and uh, these opinions that I'm going to express today, I think are they're my own opinions, and they've been formed from 50 years of uh, training racehorses and being up close and being in the thoroughbred industry and in racing in general for all of these years. And I, I uh, would like to express that because I don't represent anybody but myself, and uh, I've got a lot of friends out there in racing uh, that have varied opinions, and we've discussed this over the years. And uh, it's an ongoing discussion, and there are some tough questions, and obviously there's some tough answers. The thing about it is, um, I think that it's a, a combination of a lot of things. We we got into some of these medication issues because we thought we had to have this help in order to keep a product on the racetrack. When in reality, maybe some of that is now working against us and that product that we're putting on the racetrack is not universally accepted as much as we thought it would be. And uh, the LASIK issue is right now Paramount. It's right out there in front of us. Uh, a lot of divided opinions. My colleagues, we discuss it daily. And yet, when you go back, we were winning a lot of races and having a great run in thoroughbred racing long before the, the, uh, the development of Lasix. And along with that went the, the scoping of horses letting us know. Now, I don't have any argument with uh, some of the research that's been done to say all horses bleed. I do have an argument and personally feel that all horses may bleed, but they don't bleed every time. Therefore, I think that we have become and used Lasix, for example, as a crutch, as maybe some way that we can't get along without it, that every horse that goes out there has to have Lasix. Let me give you a case in point. I look at the situation over at Keeneland, it's world-class racing. We run two-year-olds in the spring at April. The meet runs in the month of April. We run those, those two-year-old races four and a half furlongs. If you go back historically, since the use of Lasix, and pull up the programs, which now we say we're aiding the betting public and giving them the perception that we are giving an anti-bleeder medication, you will find that almost every two-year-old that ran at Keeneland Four and a half furlongs, first start of his life, ran on Lasix. Now, it's ludicrous to believe that every one of those horses bled. Chances are probably none of them bled going four and a half furlongs that early in their career. We know from medical reports and talking to good, solid veterinarians that it is a weakening of capillaries, comes from stress, there's so many theories on it, but we know that that is probably an abuse. 